Greetings and good evening, one and all. I am Dr. Wolf, and I'm back from Pacific PonyCon. <laughs> it was a very fun weekend overall, and I've got lots to talk about, especially for uh, fan gifts that I've received over the weekend. Plus the fact that I am uh, just got back from watching The Martian, which is a fantastic movie, by the way. I was really blown away by how well done that was. <laughs> but there are quite a few things I wanted to be showing everybody. Little gifts that fans have given to me, and I really want to show my appreciation. First up, we have a framed picture of Dr. Wolf. This one was made by Brown Wolf, who happens to be the same artist who initially invited me to attend Pacific PonyCon. So, yeah, this is definitely going up in my room. Thank you very much for that, by the way. And then I've got little things from fans here and there. Little cute drawings like this one here and this one up here. I love getting little things like this, by the way, and I love putting up in my room. I've got plenty of space on my shelves over there. And, oh, here's another one. Isn't it amazing that people keep making these things for me? <laughs> this one is particularly fun because it's actually a whole bunch of people from the community that have been drawn in a very cutesy style. We're all playing instruments, except for Dr. Wolf at the uh, front here. He must be leading the little band. I think that is absolutely adorable and fantastic, and thank you once again for that. <laughs> There's another little one, a quick little one. Ooh, what do we have there? Yep. Uh, this one was actually made by Hungry Soma, who was actually part of the vlog video I did not too long ago. I think that's very adorable. <laughs> but even more adorable is this piece that she made that involves Dr. Wolf and Silver Quill. And if you can see down here, oh, it's over here, Puppy for Sale. <laughs> that always makes me smile every time I see this. Oh, here's another one. This one's from EG Studios, I believe. Yeah, I look forward to hearing from you, Dr. Wolf. I love that, yeah. The final one that I wanted to show you is something that's really special and is actually sort of a rough draft of part of a project that we're hoping to put together in the not too distant future. But this came out of a conversation between Lightning Bliss and my lady and I, because my lady was attending the convention there with me. So, I am very pleased to present a bit of concept art that I'm hoping people might enjoy seeing. This was drawn by Lightning Bliss, and it is concept art for Mrs. Wolf, the character for my lady. And I'm hoping to involve this character in a project coming up. We'll see. We have to work on the script, and we have to make sure that uh, everything's going to work out as best we hope, but I think that is amazing, and I love this, <laughs> love the fact that my lady is actually going to be uh, having a character of her own and that Lightning Bliss is helping to make it. Once again, fantastic work, and my lady was very thoroughly impressed as well, and I really hope I get to show this off in an actual project, the fully realized concept character, but we shall see. Overall, though, Pacific PonyCon was fun, fun, fun. <laughs> there were some hiccups here and there that just naturally come with travel. I believe the day we were flying out, our flights were delayed by about uh, six hours. So we ended up getting there at about 7.20 instead of the 1.20 in the afternoon like we expected we would. But I met up with a ton of fun people, fans, Meeting face-to-face -face is always a new experience every single time I go through it, and I'm still getting used to it. But little things like these, these are just absolutely... It boggles my mind every time I see them, but they're so uplifting to see things like this. To hang them in my office and be able to look over and realize I'm making a difference, and people appreciate that difference. I love seeing things like this. I want to put them on display and I want to be able to show them off and I want to be able to help all these different fans start 
contributing their own content to the fandom and having fun with it. And I really hope that I am making that difference a little bit here and there. Uh, I am most certainly looking forward to more conventions this year. I believe the next one on the list will be BabsCon, taking place in San Francisco this April. And after that, there's probably Crystal Mountain Pony Con and Brony Con. Uh, there's a couple of others I'm just trying to figure out whether or not I could go to, but I don't want to make any definite answers, yes or no, as of yet. But if any of you have any suggestions for me, any recommendations, or want to write into the convention staff themselves and have them get in contact with me, with me and give me an invitation or something, that it helps me to decide about where people want me to go. But, I don't know. <laughs> I keep feeling overwhelmed every time I think about all these fans appreciating what I do, and I want to be able to show my appreciation back, and I hope little videos like this showing off these wonderful pieces of art help that in a way, at least a little bit. <laughs> I appreciate everyone who supports me in my work, and I appreciate that they're sending me these messages or these physical acts of appreciation in return. <sighs> Honestly, I know it's going to be a great year coming up. I know there's plenty more that will keep me busy, and I look forward to getting even bigger and better in the future. As per usual, I look forward to hearing from each and every one of you. Place your thoughts in the comments, and I will read through every single one. Until next time, I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.